If you click on the settings button within the Etsy tab, settings open in an overlay with four main groups of settings. Quantity sync from Etsy, edit from Nemble, list to Etsy and import from Etsy. In this video we're looking into the list to Etsy settings from Nemble. Etsy requires you to declare who made the product actually being listed on Etsy and you can pick between the fact that you did it or somebody of your team, of your store, of your company made it or somebody else did. You may be aware, you should be aware that you can list on Etsy only products which are self-made and products which if not self-made are either components of other products or instruments, tools useful to build products to be sold. So you have to watch out here because if you just declare the wrong thing, your listing will not be accepted. And of course you have to declare the truth. Second is uh, when the listing was made, Etsy accepts also vintage listings and vintage is anything which is older than 20 years according to current Etsy rules. You may choose here to publish your listing as uh, active or as a draft. Of course listing as a draft which is the default here makes so that when you list with Nemble you will not right away see your listing within the published listings within your Etsy store. It will be in the draft folder but you will save listing fees until the moment you go into Etsy and move a product from the draft folder into the active listings folder. In that moment you will pay the listing fee which is currently 20 cents per listing. You can then declare whether this is a craft supply or not. Craft supply is that a subset of products I was mentioning earlier which are basically either useful to build items, buttons, cloth or paint or are tools, a hammer or a screwdriver or something like that. The following setting is a, a switch which will, if on, will turn your title in all lowercase letters. You may be aware that Etsy doesn't like to have too long stretches of uppercase letters in the title. We experienced a lot of sellers having the issue of having their, their listing rejected by Etsy for this reason. So if you have long stretches of uppercase letters in your title, just turn this on and Nemble will turn them into lowercase. Price rule. You may have price rules off or if on you may decide to have your price in Etsy changed by a percentage plus or minus or a, a pure amount, five dollars or five pounds of price adjustment. And then you can have automatic rounding on or off. Automatic rounding will uh, round your prices to the nearest 0.99 cents price. You can then limit the listing quantity so it's if it's off you see nothing, if it's on you may decide to have a maximum number of items in, uh, in Etsy. This was designed so because Etsy actually accepts up to 999 pieces per each product and so many sellers coming from places like Shopify or eBay had their listings in error for this reason. So if you have an error because you have too much stock for a given SKU code, just set 999 and Nemble will actually remember the correct quantity within Nemble but list a limited amount to Etsy for the sake of avoiding the error. Then you can pick your delivery profile among the delivery profiles you do have in Etsy. So for shipping you create a profile within Etsy or more profiles and then you select the profile you want to apply to the listings you're making in that very moment using Nemble. If you have more groups of listings that belong to different shipping profiles, you select a given shipping profile here, you list the bulk of listings you want under the shipping profile and then you change the shipping profile and you list the second bulk of listings and so on. Category. Category is by default automatic. Automatic applies our artificial intelligence to list your products in the correct Etsy category. This works pretty well. It takes keywords from your title or better still, it takes keywords from the category field in your Nemble product card so that if you import for instance from eBay, Nemble will get the eBay category, have it in the category field and use those keywords to feed the artificial intelligence which will then define your Etsy category. If you have thousands of products, that's the way to go. Otherwise, here you can see I have five categories. These are the five most frequently used 
categories among my latest 200 Etsy listings so that you can actually use a manual association between a bulk of listings and a specific category. And then you can select which of your Etsy shop sections you want your products listed in.